Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 20. Let's start with derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. So the first thing I told you for derivative to exist, that particular function has to be continuous, right? So that means inverse trigonometric function is also continuous. And that's the truth. Inverse trigonometric function is a continuous function. And with this, we can find the derivative of various inverse uh, trigonometric functions. We have a sine inverse x, cos inverse x, tan inverse x. I'll do something for uh, some of these for you. I'll delight some of this for you. So let's try for sine inverse x. So my fx is nothing but sine inverse x that is given or I can say my y is equal to sine inverse x and I have to find dy by dx correct that's what I have to find dy by dx. Now if y is equal to sine inverse x this guy I am going to write as x is nothing but sine y. Now if you see this is just a function and I can use the method which I just learned for the implicit function you find the derivative. So let's differentiate everything with respect to x. So what I get d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of sine y. So what I get 1 is equal to sine y is cos y into dy by dx. So what I get dy by dx as dy by dx is nothing but 1 by cos y. Correct. Now what is cos y? I don't know cos y but I know y is nothing but sine inverse x. So cos y if you see is nothing but cos I know one formula cos square y is nothing but 1 minus sine square y correct and sine y is x you know that so cos square y is nothing but 1 minus x square or cos y is root 1 minus x square why I am doing this because I got dy by dx in forms of cos y and I want to write this in form of x so I know cos y is nothing but root 1 minus x square so what I got is d by by dx is nothing but 1 by cos y that is 1 by root 1 minus x square correct because cos y is root 1 minus x square and why I got this because I wanted to write cos y in terms of x I know sin y is x and thus I got cos y is root 1 minus sin square y I use this formula and got cos y is root 1 minus x square and that is my answer. So what I have done I just got y is equal to sin inverse x then I told x equal to sin y I differentiated everything with respect to x I got dy by dx as 1 by cos y and I wrote cos y in terms of x and I got the answer. Let's do the same thing let's do this uh, the derivative of cos inverse x uh, and find what is the value of this so I say y is equal to cos inverse x I have to find d by by dx right same formula will apply, same fund I'll say. I'll say cos x is nothing but cos y. Same thing the whole left hand side and right hand side I'll differentiate with respect to x is nothing but d by dx of cos y. So this become 1 is equal to d by dx of cos y is minus sin y into dy by dx or I get dy by dx as nothing but minus 1 by sin y correct now I have to write sin y in terms of x I know cos y is equal to x and I know sin y is nothing but root 1 minus cos square y and cos y is x which becomes root 1 minus x square 
So I know sine y is nothing but root 1 minus x square. So I can write this as nothing but minus 1 by root 1 minus x square. And that is my answer. And that is the value of dy by dx. So if my fx is equal to cos inverse x, f dash x is nothing but minus 1 by root 1 minus x square. Similarly, we can do the same thing for tan inverse x. So we have tan inverse x, we have to find inverse of tan. Similar approach, y is equal to tan inverse x or I get x is equal to tan y. Differentiate everything with respect to x, d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of tan y or I get 1 is equal to d by dx of tan y is nothing but 6 square y into dy by dx or I get dy by dx is nothing but 1 by 6 square y. I know tan y I can find 6 square y how? I know 6 square y minus tan square y is equal to 1 correct and so 6 square y is nothing but 1 plus tan square y and this is nothing but 1 plus x square y because tan y is x so I get 6 square y by is equal to 1 plus x square so 6 square I will replace here this becomes 1 by 1 plus x square and that is my answer so dy by dx is nothing but 1 plus x square and that is nothing but f dash x so I can say if f x is equal to tan inverse x I got f dash x to be 1 plus y 1 plus x square very easy to derive so thus if you derive all you get this kind of table which I am not going to do all for you you can try on your own so a sine inverse x if you differentiate you get 1 minus root 1 minus root 1 by root 1 minus x square cos inverse x if you differentiate you get minus 1 by root 1 minus x square tan inverse x if you differentiate you get 1 by x square plus 1 cot inverse x if you differentiate you again get 1 by x square plus 1 sec inverse x if you differentiate you get 1 by mod x root x square plus 1 and cosec inverse you get minus of 1 by x root x square plus 1 Please note there is a mistake here, it is minus 1 by x square plus 1. So cot inverse x, if you want to differentiate, you get minus 1 by x square plus 1. So this is the derivative of trigonometric fun functions, inverse of trigonometric function. So using this we will solve some examples, we will take one. The first example is y is equal to sine inverse 2x by 1 plus x square. So such kind of questions we can directly solve using the formula or we can just say sine of no, this guy is equal to sine y and you can use a implicit method to solve. So let's try to solve this question with this formula. Next question I can try using the implicit method. This question let me try with a formula. So y is equal to sine inverse x, y dash is nothing but for sine inverse x, let me write first sine inverse x uh, differentiation is nothing but 1 by root 1 minus x square. Correct? So if my y is equal to this, y dash is nothing but 1 by root. 1 minus instead of x I have all this bunch number 2x by 1 plus x square whole square into this whole thing differentiation with respect to x d by this with respect to x. Correct? See what I have done? Using formula I know sine inverse x is root 1 minus x square. So for this whole thing is 1 by root 1 minus instead of x I have this guy 
if this is x this become dx by dx so it's one not even seen but since this was not x this 2x by 1 plus x square you have to again differentiate this guy with x so what i get here is if you solve this this becomes 1 plus x square right minus 2x square that is 4x square you can see by this so this will come here 1 plus x square right this is what i will get yeah into now i have to differentiate this that is not that difficult because this is of the form u by v if you see so what i can do is i can square this guy square the denominator that is 1 plus x square whole square differentiate this guy first so differentiation of this guy that is d by dx of 2x into this guy 1 plus x square minus 2x into d by dx of this guy denominator 1 plus x square correct this is what you will get here solve this further this is nothing but 1 plus x square and this becomes 1 plus x square minus 4 x square square actually right so 1 plus x square minus uh, 4 x square if you expand this I think this becomes 1 minus let me do this so this becomes 1 plus x to the power 4 plus 2 x to the power square minus x square yeah this is what i get into this is again 1 plus x square whole square so there is 1 plus x square into 1 plus x square why i'm doing this because i'll cut this guy with this now and this d by dx of 2x is 2 into 1 plus x square minus 2x into d by dx of 1 plus x square is nothing but d by dx of 1 is 0 and x square is 2x this is what i get this and this i'll cancel this is nothing but 1 plus x square minus 2x square actually by 4 minus 2x square and this is 1 into 1 plus x square and this is nothing but 2 plus 2x square minus 4x square correct so this is nothing but if you see is 1 minus x square whole square correct and this is 1 plus x square and this is 2 common 1 minus x square right because this becomes 2x square this guy sorry one of these and this gets cancelled so what i'm left here is 2 by 1 minus x square into 1 plus x square that's what i'm left with now there's a little mistake here this is root here which i forgot this is also root here this is root here so root of this becomes like this only and this and this gets cancelled so my answer is 2 by 1 plus x square and this is my answer so what I have done here was I just forgot this root here so if you take this root here this is 1 minus x square and then this and this gets cancelled so I am left with 1 plus x square so this is 2 by 1 plus x square is my answer so in this case I directly applied the formula the next example I will take with I'll, there are not apply the formula thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.